Hello everybody, it is time to play Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway. Uh-huh. Yes, son. We will play it in authentic difficulty. Yep. And I will tell you some tricks to actually play this decently. So not decently, but to actually people have some trouble and I'll explain why. So without further ado do. Let's watch the many cutscenes this first part has to offer. So, I really like this game. I mean, it's really good. It's kind of underrated since, well, people are, kind of are used to freaking um, Call of Duty and, and things like that that are actually quite easy. This, this is one of, not one of those games. You cannot run a gun. You actually have to use some strategy and even more on authentic difficulty. I will shut up because the cutscene will begin. Oh, by the way, I forgot to put the previously in Brothers in Arms, but uh, that actually actually explains what happened in the past games. Don't think that's as, as important as the actual beginning. I can't see a damn thing in the smoke! My eyes are burning! Keep looking! Sorry, Sarge. Don't be sorry. You did good. Did she... <coughs> did she get out okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Liar. He's gone. Matt, he's gone. We have to go. Look at me. Okay, so for those who don't know, this is a... Let's FPS. move, Matt. Follow me. And it's a squad-based FPS in which you have... You're the commander of... Two to three to Just one squad. We gotta move! You gotta... And but all you get. There's more crowds. Get down. So now I'm gonna explain to you how to actually Shoot aim in authentic. Shoot them now. As you see, you don't have you don't have crosshairs in authentic. So it's actually quite easy. Maybe not now because I cannot order anything. That's the bad. Part. You gotta you gotta kind of think where's the set. You gotta aim. It's mostly at the beginning of the game. It's by feeling. The only way to actually get it. Get the fire. So, I'm going. And we're done. I, I guess we killed him. You can act, you can also aim with iron sights, but it's not that that uh, recommended. Cause well, you're gonna get killed somehow whenever you hide into something. Enemies seem to be unable to hit you. I have no idea why. I really don't like the fact that I have 14 FPS though. Anyway. So, the trick when you're giving orders is to actually press, in my case, the middle mouse button that is the one that you use to order stuff to your, your team or squad mates. So, if you use it, and usually it will the appear the command. 
you can use it to aim actually as a small crosshair. It's actually good to have. As you can see, I have some trouble right now as well. I can't really tell where I'm shooting at. I can't get a shot! But it's actually easier at the start of the game. You can see it's actually quite difficult to see. I think that was the last of them. Uh, we got them? I think so. Anyway. You might want to pick up their weapons. But first you gotta look for them. Well, in the start it's not that that useful. Nah, let's let's keep it. Rosted sausage. German sausage. What is the name? It's sauerkraut or something. Anyway. Oh boy. Let's go. There we have some Germans. I killed one. I think we got them all. Oh, both of them? Oh, they're not. That's good. In this game you can also destroy some types of cover, usually tables and fences are the ones that you can destroy. As you can see, that will make them actually run away, and I can actually use that moment as an advantage where I can actually kill them. Yeah! I mean, this game is not only shooting, sometimes it becomes like a whack-a-mole thing where you're, you're just waiting for them to pop up and then you shoot him. But that doesn't happen most of the time. Can't save. Loading. Anyway, this game is actually quite cool because it actually makes you care about the soldiers in your squad and whatnot. Also, down their personalities, and they're not just a bunch of mindless robots that are just shooting stuff and that you don't care if they die. Cutscene again. Jesus, I haven't talked that much. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? My dad asked me that question at the age of seven when I was at the breakfast table. I remember it vividly because he never told me the goddamn answer. He was the smartest man I ever knew, but I always felt like a bastard when I was around him. Telling me how I didn't look 18. You don't. Hell, yeah. Hey, you think you could talk to Corian for me? Sam, what for? He seems to have it in for me. Let's see what I can do, Frank. Don't worry about it. You paint that yourself, Beans? Don't call me Beans. So you're saying you don't know bollocks about the pistol? Nothing to tell, Doss. Just a bunch of crap the guys made up. Would you hold it? People died there, man. Don't go digging where there's already holes. You didn't answer my question, Cortland. Hey, Corian, are we still in the range at 1300? Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, Jack. He's too young. <laughs> it's a bit of a gray area, Sam. But he's a standout if I've ever seen one. 
Excellent shot. The kid hit a quarter at 50 yards. A quarter. But he has no combat experience at all. Everybody got replacements. But we got a good one. Okay, I'll vouch for Frankie personally. I hope you're right. I need you to find some paint, Jess. Sure. I'll steal some paint for you, Sergeant. Requisition. Private. What are we painting? We're the tip of the spear, Jazz. We need to look sharp when we go in. We'll cope! Why would you say that? He's right there! Step back, Mussolini. Ain't nobody talking to you. I swear to God, Paddock, I've had it with that shit! What the hell is going on in here? Well, Paddock said some stuff that made him sound like a real I see one dick. goddamn bruise on any of you. It'll be KP and latrines for a week. I know this is getting frustrating. I know we all want to jump to it. Just know it ain't that simple. Maybe it should be. Maybe you should bring that up with General Montgomery. Got it, Ben? Plan's the same, guys. We punch through the German line, punch straight into Berlin, punch Hitler in the face, win the war, and be home by Christmas. Hey, Paddock. What you want, small fry? Here's the thought. If you're gonna cheat, make sure you don't use two Queen of Spades. Oh, you son of a bitch, Paddock. Hey, Jazz! Yeah, Red! You get that paint I asked for? We'll go! Is Max still trailing around with Cole? Well, he made a first sergeant. Anyone else a little weirded out by that? It's like seeing your old boss or something. Portland. Matt kept us alive through shit no one should live through. We owe him a lot. You don't want to know what I had to do to get You this. sure this is okay, Red? Well, we all picked radio call signs. This will help us keep the jeep straight. And crush the Germans with our scary zoo animals. Scheiße! Ein Zebra! The zebra is a fierce hey, animal. Hey, swordfishes are plenty tough. This one time, my friend Nathan got speared through his hand with its... Is it a beak? Wait, what was the other one? Toucan. Hey, you know, peck your damn eyes out, man. All right, all right. Guys, I don't do speeches. That was always Max's thing, but... But tomorrow, we're heading into Holland and opening up a goddamn highway. So hit the mess and then get some sleep. It'll be the last we get of either for a long time.